Apple Log was just released alongside the iPhone 15 Pros. With log footage, you generally have extra dynamic range that you can push with your footage, getting a much more cinematic feeling video. However, if you've brought the Apple Log footage into Final Cut Pro, there is a very good chance that you're using it improperly. This video is going to show you the very best practices for getting the absolute most out of your Apple Log footage in Final Cut Pro. Also, massive thank you to Ian Anderson for providing me with this footage. There's a link to his website down below where you can pick up his incredible Final Cut Pro book. I'm gonna go ahead and push Command I to import my footage, then we'll locate the Apple Log and push Import All. You'll notice that as I scrub over it, it doesn't have that typical log look to it. It's not very flat. That is because Final Cut Pro automatically applies the Apple Log transform LUT onto your footage whenever you import it. This might seem like it's very convenient. It means you don't have to go in and transform each of your shots as you bring them into Final Cut Pro. But this introduces some major problems. I'll go ahead and apply this footage down on my timeline and then I'll select it and push Command-6 to get my color wheels. Taking a look at the highlights, I'm going to drop them down using these color wheels. You'll notice that as I bring these down, we're not gaining any additional detail up here in the highlights, which normally with log footage, if it's been properly exposed, we should see some additional detail being revealed here in the highlighted areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset that and show you how to properly transform your footage so that you get the absolute most dynamic range out of your log footage. Going over to the inspector, we can scroll down and find this basic button. Go ahead and change that over to general. By doing that, you'll see that it introduces this camera LUT section onto our footage. You'll see also that Apple Log has been automatically applied. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and set it over to none. And now we have that typical log look to our footage. Going back to our video inspector, we'll go ahead and take a look at our effects. Then I'm going to look up the custom LUT effect. Applying that onto our footage, we can now go up to the video inspector and change which LUT is being applied. I'll go down to choose custom LUT and I've downloaded this free LUT from Tyler Stallman. I'll have a link to this LUT down below, which transforms your log footage over to a Rec 709 look. Selecting that, I'll go ahead and push open and it's gonna ask if I want to replace it because I've already imported it. I'll go ahead and push replace. Now that I've done that, you can see that our log footage has been transformed. In my opinion, I find that this transform LUT is much more pleasing than the Apple log transform LUT. So I strongly recommend that you download this LUT even if you don't follow my workflow. Now that I've applied the custom LUT, I'm gonna push Command-6 to again get my color correction wheels. I'll drop the highlights, but you'll notice that I'm still not getting any additional detail up here. That is because if we take a look at our video inspector, the color wheels have been applied underneath the custom LUT. All you need to do to fix that is drag the color wheels above the custom LUT. Now we can jump inside and if you watch the highlights you'll notice that there is more detail being introduced in those highlighted areas when I am changing the highlights. That is because we are working with the footage before it's been transformed over to Rec 709. That means we have far more dynamic range and can push the colors way further than when we have it after the transform LUT. Now you might be saying to yourself, I don't wanna go through all of these steps every single time I need to correct a piece of footage. So here is a quick tip to save yourself a whole bunch of time. I'm gonna go ahead and reset these highlights, then we'll go back to our video inspector. Leave everything exactly as it is, then go down to the save effects preset. Clicking on the save effects preset, we could call this preset whatever we like. So I'll just call it the Apple Log Conversion. You could set this to whatever category you like. I've created a faves category by scrolling to the bottom and selecting new category. And just make sure that only the color wheels and the custom LUT effect are being saved. From there, go ahead and push save. Now that we've done that, anytime we bring in log footage, all we need to do is look up our Apple log conversion and apply that onto the footage. And just like that, you'll notice that we properly have applied our color wheels above the custom LUT, which is this Tyler Stallman Apple log to Rec 709. We can jump inside of the color wheels, adjust the highlights as we need to, and retain all of that additional detail in the highlights and shadow areas, which comes with shooting in the log format. If this video was helpful to you, then you may wanna check out this video where I show you five hidden features inside of Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.